Yeah. You could talk about kind of what are new realities that entrepreneurs need to consider uh, going to market, going for money, going for angels, going for VC. What do they need to pay attention to? What are the new realities of, of well, the, startups? You know, if you go and talk to Paul Graham at Y Combinator or, or Dave McClure, who are really studying this inflow of new startups, and he's fi they're finding startups all over the world now. It's not just Silicon Valley. Uh, they look for a few things. One is, are they doing something interesting? That's a given. But the team, okay, that's given. But they're looking at adoption. You, these guys see 3,000 uh, prop proposals now to get into Y Combinator, and they fund, what, 60 companies for Y Combinator. Uh, so 60 out of 3,000 is a pretty low ratio. So to get the 60, you have to win the contest. And winning that contest is... Uh, you, you have to do all the basics, you know, have a team, have an interesting product, but probably be on the market already and, and validating that with customers and having a viral coefficient. In other words, having a growth rate that is predictable and larger than one, right? Um, and be able to demonstrate that without um, doing the fake uh, stats, giving them real stats, like how many minutes per, per user are, is using it, how much data is getting thrown into your system because of what you're doing, or how much transactions are you causing, et cetera, et cetera, so that when you, Paul comes in, he's going to look at those numbers and say, oh shit, this guy has 100,000 users, and they're using it for 20 minutes a day, ooh, that's pretty nice, and he's driving sales, you know, and getting transactions. That's the kind of thing that they're funding now, it's, you know. Unless you're uh, Dave, unless you're Dave Morin or uh, you know somebody uh, famous, and then they'll fund you to do maybe a little bit more fun thing like path or color. But how many colors and paths are there? You know, two, three. <laughs> Most of them are the kinds of companies that get get funded by the angel pads, the 500 startups, the you know uh, tech stars, and they the, the the people who run those programs are all looking for the basics, the fundamentals. Uh, other trends, bigger trends than that. If you don't have a Facebook strategy, you're stupid. You know, even if your strategy is we we are not going to use Facebook, that's fine. But you better have considered it and have a good answer why you're not building in, you know, frictionless sharing or open graph, or why you're not using Facebook to build a viral loop to get people to come into your system or build in social features like Etsy did with their gift guide. Really cool stuff. And that's stuff that people talk about back on the Facebook. It's like, so if you're not having a Facebook strategy or Google Plus strategy or Twitter strategy, I think you're really blowing a major opportunity to build a viral loop and get people to come back to and check out your stuff. Right? If you're building an iPhone app, you better figure out how to get featured in the Apple Store. That's, and same thing on Android, you better figure out how to get Google to feature you. And if you can't figure that out, it's going to be tough. You can still succeed, but it's going to be tough. And guess what? If you succeed, you're going to get in the featured, right? So, so uh, when you get featured on the Apple Store, you get 9,000 users a day and or more. And so um, that's a huge shot in the arm for somebody. It's much better than getting a Scoble post or a TechCrunch post or, or the old school PR. Getting the featured in the store for a long period of time is really how to build a, a great brand.